Alright, shalom on to the home team. This is Nine Spiral. Uh, I made this video a while back on Instagram, man. So, uh, uh, and it was uh, too painstaking, man, to go back through it. Uh, so, uh, bear with the sound. I know somebody commented about the sound. You know, I was screen recording some of that stuff, man. But uh, I see I'm going to have to start redoing stuff. Bear with me. Uh, but I had to get this one out here, man. So the message is uh, to us Israelites, right? It is absolutely absurd to think that our forefathers and mothers ate their babies. Let's stop with this bullshit, man. Wisdom teaches you to reason, right? Don't let them force this shit on us any goddamn more. It is absolutely absurd if anybody think that. And and let me just say, man, these I call them ho tip niggas. Man, these niggas ain't nothing but agents of confusions. They gonna either be Moab or Edom. Either of the two. These is nothing but understand this shit is generational, right? Your trickery, Israel, is generational. So these are the uh, uh, the generation of the hijack, the gatekeepers. They got to keep your identity a secret. They made a vow, Psalms eighty three, to cut your name off forever, that it may be no more, no more remembrance of you. Right, but. See, we have these prophecies, right? That we're going to awake. One who will call himself by the name of Jacob, Isaiah says. Another will name himself by the name of Israel. They will spring up among the grasses like willows by the water courses, huh? But now you got these hopes up niggas. Niggas that wall was laid siege. You can't answer that question, nigga, unless you be in that position. We in a trap right now. We ain't about to eat our babies. And ain't they free? We not being late. We not starving to death, nigga. You got to stop that and get an Africa. You can get a rhinoceros burger, a goddamn giraffe burger. You got all kinds of rivers and lakes in Africa. Alright, enough of that dumbass shit. Um I'm just gonna say, man, uh you know, I'm gonna try to be quick with this one. Um it is absolutely absurd to think that in Deuteronomy twenty eight fifty three our forefathers and foremothers ate their babies. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Come on, now. And you see these clowns, you know. First of all, I'm just appalled at how uh, the light-skinned brother talk. You know, I, I know this is a polite cat. Um, look at this nigga to the right. The nigga with the... Uh, <laughs> the fuck is that, man? Uh, a hot... Uh, High left ponytail, high right ponytail, man. You know, let me woo saw. You know, but uh, we 
we're going to deal with this word eat. Because at Drop Nation, we know it all it is is a word, gang. And once you trace the word back to the source, which is none other than Paleo Hebrew, in which scholars ignorantly call Phoenician. That's all it is, it's a word game. That's why we got to knock Torahs. You know, we dig on Targums, Strong's Concordance. Need all that. Online etymology. Yeah, too. 1828, Noah Webster Dictionary. When I first started doing this research, 2016, uh, you had to have certain things oh, man. to do so. Oh, man. One was online etymology, strong concordance, yep. and willpower. Yep. So let's deal with it. All right, now spiral. Uh, here we are in the Miriam, and uh, you know this. All right, goddamn it! I tried to stop it, man. I hope I don't get no copyright for that little bit. Uh, anyway. All right, so we looking at the word eat. What I was explaining, and uh, we know simply that you know what I'm saying all it is is a word game. You feel me? You see, these people weren't smart enough to goddamn rewrite everything. All they did was add shit and duplicate shit. All you have phantoms and duplications. So we're digging on the word eat, right? Consume, devour. And I'm going to call out the ones and I'll uh, show you where I'm going with it. Miriam punk ass here. That's what I really wanted, Miriam. That's what I was showing in the video. Why that nigga still got their ponytail on there? Disintegrate. Dissolve, decimate, destroy, devastate, ruin, waste, wreck. So pretty much what we talking about. Go ahead and see it. Kill. Our forefathers and foremothers was in such distress in Deuteronomy 28, 53. That they would rather see their babies dead by their hands than see these monsters, these creatures, bash their baby heads. Right? Bash their baby heads over stones. Splitting them in two and shit. Y'all see where I'm going with it? We have evidence. All right, tribe. We're here with uh, American Holocaust. But before we jump into it, uh, let's get Deuteronomy 2853. You shall eat the fruit of your own body, the flesh of your sons and daughters, and the most high. Your power has given you in the siege and in desperate Desperate, desperate straits in which your enemy shall distress you. Wherever the marauding, diseased, and heavily armed Spanish forces went, went out of, on patrol, 
Accompanied by ferocious armored dogs that have been trained to kill and disembowel, they preyed on the local communities, already plagued and feebled, forcing them to supply food and women and slaves and whatever else the soldiers might desire. And the soldiers never ceased to take delight in killing just for fun. Spanish reports of their own murderous sadism during this time are legion. For Lark, they tore babies from their mother's breast by their feet and dashed their heads against the rocks. The bodies of other infants they spitted, together with their mothers and all who were before them, on their swords. On a famous occasion in Cuba, a troop of a hundred or more Spaniards stopped by the banks of a dry river and sharpened their stones on the wet stones in its bed. Eager to compare the sharpness of their blades, reported an eyewitness to the events, they drew their weapons and began to rip open the bellies to cut and kill those lambs, men, women, children, and old And for this reason, while I was in Cuba, 7,000 babies died in three months. Some mothers even drowned their babies from sheer desperation. Some mothers even drowned their babies from sheer desperation. All right, uh, we're going to continue. I'm, I'm just speechless, man. Uh, I couldn't fit. I mean, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's very graphic, and, and what you're hearing here is nothing. This is from the Florentine Codex. The main thing is the first paragraph, where it says, Even if he sleepeth, this is a Moctezuma, was having nightmares, and this is the things that he was here. Even if he sleepeth, tell him, they whom thou hast sent into the midst of the water have come. Right there, he's already telling you, the ones that the Most High has sent in the midst of the waters have come. The one these people already knew why these people were here. They knew that the Spaniards were very powerful. So now they realize that these Spaniards that were sent over the waters, the people that have sent are come, have come, now they realize how powerful that these people are. Now you got to take this in the context of all the information I just gave you about the covenant that they had already made with the Most High. It's about, you know, with their future of their children, future of their old people. It's about, you know, with their future of their children, future of their old people, their young people themselves, how dejected they were. It's just as soon as they got there. And Moctezuma loudly expressed his distress. He felt distress. He was terrified. He was astounded. He expressed his distress because of the city. And indeed, everyone was greatly terrified. There were terror, astonishment, expressions of distress, feelings of distress. There were consultations. There were formations of groups. There were assemblies of people. There was weeping. There was much weeping. There was weeping for others. There was only the hanging of heads. There was dejection. So they realized that they had lost the land and the covenant and the blessing of the Most High. Hi, last spiral. Word to Kira Mayo. You see that? 